you can totally pray if God help you. Okay. I'll let you understand that Uzziah was a man that God helped marvelously well. How do we pray? Many of us are helped by God to pray. That's the truth. You won't believe me. I have about five personal angels that work with me. You won't believe it. You don't need to believe it. It's none of your business. Two of those angels give me strength to pray. They help me to pray. They are like angels of light. When I'm praying, they supply strength to me. Prayer is not done by natural means. You have to be helped to also pray. You may not know it, you may not see it, but it's true. There's a help that supply for you to pray. That is something you feed the fire burn more. It's angelic beings. Bible says when Jesus Christ was fasting and praying, angels were there to what? Strengthen him. You are the one that is doing it alone. You won't survive. That's a strength that comes by the supply of the spirit. I realized that Uzziah was a king in those times. Before he became a king, he was a man that was very feeble. God marvelously helped him. While God helped him, he became strong and God made him a king. The time came, he became so proud. While he became proud, he decided that he would go and be offering sacrifice unto the Lord. Why? It was not part of his Lord and portion. That was why in the book of Isaiah, he says, Isaiah says, Isaiah saw, given in his vision, Uzziah died. And the year that King Uzziah died, him, Isaiah saw the Lord. But before Uzziah died, he died because of disobedience. Many kings, in fact, many priests beg him, Oh God, don't enter there. But he said, he said, Am I not the king? I'll go and do. He went and did. And of course, he was killed by the Lord. David was a man that God marvelously, marvelously helped also. David is a man that is helped by God. Till today, it's always a mystery how God helps people. I discover a lot of time. God takes pleasure in helping people all the time. God will always begin with you with an encounter. After that encounter, he sustains you with your habitation. And the habitation comes with activating a lot of his possibility within you and giving you a placement in the realm of the spirit. Now you occupy a throne and a government. We saw that Saul on his way to Damascus was encountered by a light. Men of the spirit are men of encounters. There is no man that bears relevance in God that is not a man that has encountered God sufficiently well. That is because God helped him. When you begin to pray, encounters become your lot and portion. You begin to have encounters naturally. I assure you, when you go to sleep this night, even if you are a witchcraft, even our messenger, she will begin to have encounters this night. Why? Because when God helped a man, he got unto him encounters. When a man begins to pray, your eyes are open to begin to see the realm of the spirit. Encounters become natural. I realize that the encounter in this kingdom is not a function of maturity. You cannot be too mature to always have encounters with God. It's a function of desperation. How desperate and how hungry you are. How hungry you are. I realize that every man in the scripture that encounters God is a man of hunger and desperation. If you realize you are lacking in an encounter, increase your hunger for God. Increase it. And that means you have to increase your study time, increase your prayer time, increase your giving, increase your fasting, increase everything that looks like kingdom principle. In the book of Acts 10, that the Bible speaks here. How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Holy Ghost and with power. We went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. It was a question how God they just could not be able to understand how God did it and the same way when a man begins to pray you cannot understand how how certain things begin to happen in his life it will happen by the agency of the spirit by the agency of prayer Bible speaking in the book of Acts chapter 1 verse 8 so but you shall receive power as the Holy Ghost has come upon you, as you shall be my witness, both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in all Samaria. I realize that no matter what we do, the reason why we are men of power is because we are men of prayer. And whether we like it or not, Power is the greatest entity upon the face of the earth required to combat against every demonic entity. 
the Holy Ghost is the most expensive, most precious commodity, both upon the face of the earth and upon the heavens. I use the word commodity not to devalue him, but I mean that the Holy Ghost is one of the things a man must always cherish, both on earth and in heaven. You don't need power in heaven. You need power upon the face of the earth. So God anoint men with power and the Holy Ghost. So with power they can combat against darkness. With the Holy Spirit they can maintain communication with heaven. I will realize that before God helped men, He gave them commandment. The book of Acts of God, He will refer to let us understand how that Jesus Christ commanded them to tarry in Jerusalem. Until they are endured with power from on high. One of the ways that God helped men is to endure them with power. After they tarry, He endured them with power. So that they can now be able to function like God and act like God. Our life will always be a mirage until God helps us. No matter what we do, God is a stone of defense unto us. God is a refuge to us. Many times you can see how God takes feeble people and make them great. It's the dimension of him as Ebenezer. Ebenezer is a system in God of establishment of covenant and a system in God of protection and covering. There is no man that is relevant in the kingdom that has not encountered the dimension of God as Ebenezer. God as Ebenezer is him as a stone of refuge, as a fortress, as a defense system. How that when men look at you, they don't see God, they see you. But in you, they don't see Jesus Christ. The Bible says, Who is man that thou art mindful of? The son of man that thou visited him. You have made him a little lower than the Elohim. Than the angels. Why? Say, but yet, when we see man, we don't even see man, we see Christ. It's a dimension of Ebenezer. How that every man that God has helped, God put his emblem upon. When you look upon the man, you don't see the man, but you see Jesus. If Jesus is not fully working in your life, it's because he has not fully helped you. When he's helped you, his strength finds expression in you. His power, his grace, his possibilities. You are always a weak man in the flesh, but a strong man in the spirit. Learn to take advantage of the strength of God in your spirit for you to fly. Many of you have always believed that you are a strong man. I don't agree I am strong. I believe I am weak. But in God, I am strong. I believe the dimension of Ebenezer is also the dimension of Emmanuel. How God walked with man. Say Emmanuel, God with us. When God every man will remain with him. There is no way I'm going to help you that I'm not going to be part of your life. If any man is going to help you, he has to be part of your life. If God is going to help a man, he has to be part of the life of the man. able to agree to allow God to help you. Many men have never come to the end of themselves as such God can never help them. Until you come to the end of yourself God cannot I mean he cannot help you. Because the spirit of God will never strive with men. Never. Never he will strive with men. I saw an evil under the sun. A lot of men that God has not helped trying to help others. It become a dangerous scenario. How when they deliver a new deliverance. A lot of men and women have went to deliver other people and in themselves have been in bondage. Heavy bondage. You must be careful. Before you administer help unto another person, first of all, you must allow God to help you first. How do you allow God to help you? 
you come to the end of yourself then you yield to the spirit of truth I know that many of you have come to a point in your life which you are tired of everything many I don't know about you but what I began perceiving there a lot of times that I felt felt really really weary I won't lie to you have you prayed and fasted I have seen people they pray they fasted they love God they are not carnal they are not anything but things are not moving what you need is the help of God I'm telling you you may not need more prayer you may not need more fasting you just need the help of God I told you the difference between one man and that man may just be that God just choose to help this one better than this one that's all it is possible for me and you to begin in God the same time fasting and praying the same but I become relevant you will not become relevant why? God just choose to help me more than you sometimes the motive and the heart posture attracts the help of God other times there is this dangerous scenario of partiality what is it Jacob I love Esau what I hate and you can never ask God why he hates Esau and why he loves Jacob you can never if you can God love you and hate your neighbor now what for your neighbor but you know that even if you want to die you can't die because God loves you when Ebenezer becomes your reality you are a man that God loves God may love everybody but I'm telling you it will look as though you are the only one that exists in a whole generation everyone will tell you God loves him do you realize that do God love you you agree but do you not believe that God loves me too it's Ebenezer how God helps each and every one of us distinctively each one distinctive you must always understand that God takes pleasure in helping all of us that's why I've ever believed and I will continue to believe that a man that God helps is always better than a man that helps himself you must come to a point where you have to allow God to help you you can never help yourself enough never whether in ministry whether in your business whether in your life whether in your career whether in your family it's not possible I'm telling you an average man that tries to help himself has failed several times you too you will fail you must fail many years ago I thought it's by power it's by might you will try by power and try by might you will fail you will not discover it by the spirit of the Lord when you come to the agency of the spirit of the Lord it's not what I'm boast about it's a lie you yourself cannot even understand how it's been done I realized a lot of times you understand how certain things are done you actually don't even know it it's when you don't understand it many of you when you look at your life your life seems very confused now but do you know in the confusion of your life some people desire your life so look at your life as a perfect modern life but you yourself you are looking at it as if ah me too, i'm still trying to find a pathway of the life what you need is the help of god what the person needs is also the help of god because there is no life that you have that is perfect enough no life you have that is bad enough you are not worse than other people Dango Dangote lose some millions and he says his life is miserable but he's still a billionaire what I need to understand is this every kind of misfortune that happens to everyone brings some level of pain but they may not be the worst in the situation what I need to understand your situation is not as worse as you can think about it's a lie better than too many yeah there are people that are better than you but truly many as such you must understand that as God help you a little bit actualize more be grateful then I demand of him to help you the more many of you know that there are situations in your life where if God do nothing about it nothing may change like nothing many years ago while I was in the Canaan man 
I used to go to church. But do you know I used to take punch all this dry gin to church? I take dry gin to church. When the pastor is preaching, I will see small. Yes? I say I can't let me cool. I go for an IVG with dry gin. I don't know what is even taking me to an IVG. I don't know. There was a seed of righteousness in me. I will go to night video with cigarette. After the pastor I preach, I'll go outside of the church. I'll go by the backside like this. And just smoke. Have you been to some crusade ground? You see smokers there. You don't even know what they are doing there. They did their head, they said they see smoking. I knew that time I need the help of God, not the help of man. I'm telling you. Sometimes we move straight from that VG to club. Sometimes straight from that VG to boost to go and smoke again. Follow women, go to prostitute place, all kinds of things. I knew what I need was the help of God because I was a church goer. In fact, there is this confession they used to do in Orthodox Church. They tell you to come and do born again confession. Say to, yesterday I was today I was a sinner. The Lord forgiving me. You know that is this is doing Alsa. I don't feel Alsa here. I can't believe this. People are not part of Orthodox Church. Hi, Sanuku Yanua, Achigen Christi. Right, something like that. Gama ni mizuru bini. Ama enzo na tubago. Na tani le tiwa yesi abu tu sewa de zuri bena. Ya tashi tu mina. Ama what 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 what? So you it's like a confession. After you finish that confession, you will feel very holy for that day. The next day, you go back to so kind of life as usual. <laughs> you take it to the Many of you were that you were baptized in water. After they put you inside the water, you came out very, very sanctimonious and holy. For two days, you did not go anywhere. The third day, you said, I want to go life back. You find yourself smoking and drinking again. What you need is what they, I call the help of God. There are things that no man can do for you. There are things that no baptism can do for you. It's the help of God. When God truly encounters you, what it does is that it takes away those appetites. Why Jesus Christ appeared to me, prophet? As he came to me and appeared. He told me that he has come to answer the prayer of a weeping woman. He has come to answer the prayer of a woman that groans. While I was in a canal man smoking and drinking, my, mom, my mother was praying for me every day. My mother carried my name. She put my name inside the middle of the Bible. And she's praying every day. Say, God, you must change this boy. He told me she didn't give birth to a drunkard, a smoker. I was drinking solution, drinking Madagas who could die. What do you call them? Roti, Trimor, Exod, even Petro, Wizzy, Sifit. Oh my God. This guy is a Kanaga. Your prophet was once in darkness before. My mom was praying for me every day. Crying every day. Sometimes I would come and see her kneeling down. Crying. Just pray, pray. I said, look at this one. You're wasting your time. Say me. I will never change. She said, I didn't give birth to someone like you. She would take my name to different prayer houses and attach a seat and say, pray for my son. Anyone that prays to me, they say, can you pray for my son? Pray for my son. Pray for my son. I became popular because my mom took my mother to everywhere. <laughs> Why prayer? heaven one day jesus christ walked into my room say he has come to answer the prayer of a groaning woman he has a work and a function for me to do i say i don't want it i say look at the life of pastors it has not helped them he said i have a working for you and i will not let you go i say i don't want to be born again he said i must The way I'm living my life, I will die and I'll go to hell. I say, Is it not hell? I will not be alone there. He said, I don't know what is hell. I said, ha. I said, I'll be with my friends there. So we have planned to go there. He said, I don't know. Do you know that 
Jesus just touched me like this. And we went to hell straight. While we came back, I knelt down to be born again. But while I saw what I saw in hell, I discovered I don't really actually know hell. While I went there, immediately when I came back, I knelt down and started crying. I said, I want to be born again. Many of you, the day you encounter hell, in fact, nobody will tell you to live a good life. You live by the If you have one encounter and see how they are dragging you to hell and you reach close, I did not enter and they allow you to come back. You will live a very holy life. One lady had an encounter that rapture to happen. Everybody left. She's the only one remaining. And she was being tormented. She came back. And from that day, she was born again. That's the reality of Maria Udo Ita. How that in Amity, people are caught off in trance. Seeing all kinds of things. They, in fact, they are judged. We will see their judgment. They will come back and repent. When I came back, I told him the only thing I want is that you should take away the addictions. Because those are us addicted to too many things. I said, take away those appetites, those addictions, and all of those things. He said, no problem. He stretched out his hand towards me, and light enters inside me. And I saw life change, and many things broken. Since from that day, when I stood up from that place, I took cigarette to smoke. I couldn't smoke again. I couldn't. I wanted to drink alcohol. I couldn't drink it again. I tried to be friends with my friends. I discovered it's not possible. The lady you encountered Jesus, you discovered the boyfriend you had before Jesus is a wrong boyfriend. All your friends before Jesus, they will be wrong. All of them will have to leave you. Why? Simply because a business has come. Wow. Can you rest on your feet? We are done. In the next two minutes, we are done. If you dare to sleep, you need to go another extra five hours. We'll call them in bed and shift the meeting for the next day. Or we'll do one day, this is two days. So that we we'll have enough time here to roll where they very well. Let's say how's that song? Yes, we are Yes, we are Damu wa uzuchi yata Yesu ya wa uwari Yesu ya wa uwari Yesu ya wa uwari Damu wa uzuchi yata Yesu ya wa uwari Yesu ya wa uwari Yesu ya wa uwari Yesu ya wa uwari Oh, that do you need a good 
dunia sejini Inasu sama kabarka Kuda dunia, kuda dunia sejini Inasu sama kabarka everyone here from today by the reason of the sacrifice of today your life can never remain without a relevance in God Amen. I decree and I declare that may the spirit that works with men that makes them great begin to work with you from today Amen. as that every limitation over your life is lifted in the name of Jesus Amen. I decree an open heaven over you Amen. it is I mention God as Ebenezer, the help of God. May you never be lacking in the supply of the strength of God. Amen. From today, may God do for you things that no man can do for you. Amen. I decree and I declare yes. that from today, may you see the help of God in situation you need Him to help you. Amen. I ask that where men end in your life, may God begin. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I ask, oh God, that book of remembrance be open. Amen. Amen. Remember of your prayer, your labor, and your sacrifice. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I bless the devil. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Sorry for the stress. I mean, those children will never forgive me. But I'm very, very sorry. I mean, everything I did is because I love you. And I want you to really pray. Look at it. We have finished. I have not died. Is there anybody that we need to wait from the dead apart from the person that God judged? No, we don't need to wake you. You understand? So please, you will not die in the place of prayer. You will not die. Please. And if I've offended you by the way I talk, by the way I do whatsoever, I'm very sorry. I'm not a hard person like that. It's just that way I'm just too serious when you come to prayer. I get what I'm saying? Look at now we are joking and we are playing. Eh? So now you can go and sleep as much as you want to sleep. <laughs> If you lie asleep, let nobody wake. If you lie asleep for the next two weeks, no problem. But when we meet again, you pay for all the sleep you have been sleeping. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me around. I really enjoyed my stay. I mean, I love you so, so much. But I'm already missing you. Maybe, uh, maybe you will give me a membership card for God's wonders. So thank you so, so much. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Father, we give you praise. We glorify your name. If you are still on the ground level by now, you are very wrong.